<coughs> hey guys, it's me here. Today I'm gonna help teach you guys how to make cinnamon toast crunch. It's very easy. All you need is actually four ingredients. Okay, so here we go. Um, first thing you need to do is make sure you have cinnamon and sugar. If you don't have cinnamon and sugar, you could just get cinnamon and sugar and mix it together, or you could just buy it all mixed up already. I like wheat bread. You could get wheat bread or just any kind. Vanilla flavor and vegetable oil. Eggs. Now the first thing you want to do is put your eggs into your little mini bowl. Something like that. And into our eggs, we want to add our vanilla flavor. Just like that, and you want to whisk it all together. All that's nice and brown for the vanilla. And you can turn it on the Add just a little bit more vanilla. Okay, now after there we have that. And you want to add your vegetable oil to your food so that can start heating up. Yeah. So it's going to start going up when it's going to burn easy. Just a lot of oil because it's like we're deep frying the bread. There we are. <laughs> and to my plate, I want to add the cinnamon and sugar. Just like that. Next thing I want you to open up my bowl. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna ice. No. Why? Because this doesn't take ice. Oh. Okay. Let me do that again. Okay. Now all I'm gonna get is four slices. Gonna get and you might need a lot more oil. If you're doing thick slices, but if it's just thin like that, you won't need that much. Now, when you get my bread and pass it through the vanilla and egg mixture, leave it in this a little bit, and the vanilla should soak into your bread and get a good flavor. Now, I want to throw it above my above my cinnamon and sugar. Just like in your frying fish, you're going to put the batter and put it like that. Mm, look at that. Looking good. And that's how it should come out. And put it onto a plate in the Alright? That's good for all the others. It smells good already. Something so easy you can do at home. You could do it for your parents. I made this this morning for my parents. Okay, just like that. Okay, okay. I'm going to add some more cinnamon and sugar because the bread doesn't absorb a lot. Wet it good in there. Take it out like that. And throw it again above it. Take it. And split. Just like that. Okay. And our last piece of bread, once again, is the egg. Now, I just used two eggs. If you're making a lot for like a big breakfast, you might need more. Just depending how much you're making, just like the same amount 
of oil you might need, the same amount of vanilla you might want to add to your mixture. Just it just depends by the amount of people you're cooking for. Like if you just cooking for yourself, just make as many spices as you want. Just like that. Right. And pop it on here. Now you just give me one second and then we're gonna start frying these. Okay. I'm back. Here we are. I see two eggs are just enough for what I need. Alright, now we're going to start frying these. Just get one at a time. You might need to move your hand because once you wet the bread and soak it, it gets Mm. Now you might want to move up here to see it. Check it out. Don't just say that, boy. You know, taste the same if it's on no. wheat bread. No. Or if it's on anything else. He's ready. Take my next one. Just like that. Fry up. Want to get nice and crispy. Put that fry up a little bit. All right, it's time to flip them. Pin or hair, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you want to be careful because this could burn very easily. Okay. Alright, he's about done. Look at all that wonderful juice in there. Next one. Just have one more to fry. These are looking good. Yeah. 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 No, don't. Sit here. Sit here. This one's about done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And our last one. Let that fire. 
Looking good, y'all. Look. Now the oil that was left from the cooking it absorbed all that cinnamon and all that stuff, so you could just softly move it up like that. Just softly move it up like that. And spread the water. Now let's dig in and try some. Okay, let's try some. Let's try some. Let's try some. Watch and make sure you make those crumbs. Now you make it and comment below and tell me what you think.